Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about China is in full swing for the continued development of the fifth generation J-35 carrier based stealth fighter to acquire complete operational carrier capability. The aircraft was formerly known by its developmental name, the FC-31. It was also previously referred as the J-31 and now almost everyone refers to it as the J-35. The aircraft initially was pitched as fifth generation stealth fighter to the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, but it was later rejected as the Air Force preferred the J-20 Mighty Dragon. But the developer Shenyang Aircraft Corporation persisted and continued to develop the aircraft until a new opportunity arises. Now the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy is looking for a carrier-based stealth fighter for their three aircraft carriers. It was around last year when we saw the newer version of the J-35 that seems to be modified to fit for carrier-based operation. We can also notice a much improved and newer design built for aircraft carrier use. The latest J-35 has a silver-gray color which signifies application of a specialized stealth paint or stealth coatings. The canopy design was also changed and the latest J-35 is now fitted with a tail hook. It's a basic requirement for any carrier-based fighter. The tail hook engages to the wire on the aircraft carrier's resting gear during landing to slow down and stop the aircraft, and then the aircraft's kinetic energy is transferred to the hydraulic dumping system. Just last week, the new J-35 is caught on a video by a Chinese citizen while doing some kind of a test flight. The video is now widely circulating on Chinese social media. In the video, we can see that the J-35's landing gear is down. It's probably because the aircraft is coming in to land. But as you can notice on the video, the aircraft is lacking the pitot tube, a device normally used for measuring the aircraft's speed. The most possible explanation to this is that they're probably doing some tests for the aircraft's combat capabilities in other subsystems. They're probably doing a mock deck takeoffs and landings radar stealth examinations or installing and testing radar system in the nose. China has three aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong which have a stober launching system or short takeoff but arrested recovery. In short, it uses ski jump on the flight deck to launch aircraft. And the latest one is the Fujian which uses catapult assisted takeoff and landing. Many Western observers believe that once fully operational, the J-35 would enter service solely to the Fujian aircraft carrier, and the Liaoning and Shandong would only use the J-15. But personally, I believe that the three aircraft carrier would use a mix of both J-35 and J-15. I believe the J-35 would also be perfect for the Shandong and Liaoning's operation, and that the J-15 would also be used by the Fujian. And here's why. The Liaoning and Shandong both uses ski jump to launch the J-15 from the aircraft carrier. There are two ways of doing this. One is at the forward position that allows two simultaneous short takeoff at the same time, but there is certain limitation at this position, even under ideal condition where the aircraft carrier is traveling at 28 knots, giving extra headwind to the J-15 during launch. But at this position, the J-15 could only take off at maximum fuel and payload of 28 tons. The second launch position is a long takeoff at the aft of the aircraft carrier. Under ideal condition, this position finally allows the J-15 to launch at full fuel and payload capacity of around 33 tons. While the Fujian is a catabar or a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery aircraft carrier, it is similar to American aircraft carriers. In short, the aircraft from the Fujian is launched by using the power of its engine and with the help of catapult to slingshot the aircraft into the air. Unlike the ski jump aircraft carrier, the aircraft take off only using the power of its engine. The catapult system allows the aircraft to take off at full fuel and payload from any position. So you get the point. The J-35 is much smaller and lighter than the J-15 while also having two engines so it has better weight to thrust ratio. It means the J-35 can probably take off on ski jump on the Liaoning and Shandong at full fuel and payload both on the long and short takeoff position. While the Fujian's catapult system would also allow the J-15 to take off on the short and long position while carrying full fuel and payload capacity. 
Also, lastly, the J-35 is designed as a stealth aircraft, and it's designed for stealth operations, so it's limited to carry less payload on its internal weapons bay. Even though the J-35 could also be used for non-stealthy operation and add more pylons on its wings and carry more weapons for non-stealth operation, but it would take so much time and effort to constantly change the aircraft's configuration to meet certain mission requirement, when the J-15 could totally do the non-stealth operation at a much lesser operational cost. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.